Hello everyone, welcome back to Sarah from, I'm Sarah from Defection Gaming bringing you FTL part 3 of this The Box Tour of the Galaxy where I am bringing you the NG class drone cruiser. Um, it's an absolute beast in my opinion. I think this is the strongest setup I've brought to the end. Uh, but, you know, we'll have to see how it bears up. Um, I think the best thing to probably do um, when we're fighting the main enemy is to... I'd like to get our shield maxed, but I don't think that's going to happen realistically. Cloak is longer. I don't know if we're able to get shield maxed, but let's just dive straight at him. See where we can go. Right. Uh, ion and ion. Heavy laser. Essentially, I'm going to work on completely neutralizing their weapons as much as possible, as early on as possible. Then go straight for weapons and shields to try and neutralize them as much as possible. Then, as soon as they're essentially defenseless, lower my own defenses a tad um, by either taking out a little bit of shields or something like so in order to whack beam one out when they have no shields and really wreck them up. I think that's probably the best strategy that I can have for this and that means that my augment long range scanners I think, yeah, I think I'll take ev less evade in order to get shields up. I really think... Pre-igniter. That is one of the best weapons in the entire game. Is the weapon pre-igniter. Right, now we're fighting the rebel ship. Get my anti-ships ready. Put that on, put that on. Ready to dump them in the 
cloak will go off. Put my guys there, and off we go. Now, ions. I'll just focus everything into, dis into disrupting the shields at the moment. Absolutely everything. As soon as we get some damage in. Right, now their shield's down. Get beam one up. Keep one on there. I'll send two. Actually, keep one and two on there and just start blowing up their systems with my uh, heavy laser. Got cloak up. Technically, I can jump, I won't want to. These guys have finished, so take them out. Haven't needed to use cloak yet. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good as a as a strategy. Pretty desperately good as a strategy, really. I mean, hmm. I'll get a second level of cloak purely because I remember the end of the last game. How crazy that fight was towards the end. Uh, no, not B1. Shields. Upload these guys into here. Again. Try and nuke out their stuff. And when they fire missile at me. Intruders detected. Oh yes. in my drone bay. Eek. Right. Uh, not good. Down there, you go in the med bay to heal more. Mm. Passive evasion. Let's go. 
Right. Uh, I, I can't... Put a beam up. Just to get through this damn shield as quickly as possible. Uh, take that out in order to put that on. Because I know something big coming. Right. Oh, damn. Teleporter's down. Teleporter's down. Uh, right, my ions are still going. One, one on there, one there. Heavy laser there. Whoa, O2's down. They're in my teleport room. Oh god. I'm about to I have to sacrifice my two blokes on their ship. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. Down. The box won. I had to sacrifice people in order to do it, but the box did win. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching my uh, FTL playthrough of the box. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it showed you the kind of things to do with drone-related ships. I mean, that's a very much a DPS setup in terms of drones, but you can do other things like tanking setups, um, which you know, may work effectively, but I haven't tried them in a big way at all. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Sarah from Defection Gaming. That was my third successive win, which is incredible, because I think, I think recording is my lucky charm, because I've never beaten the game before. So I'll definitely keep playing this game. It's very, very fun. And I will see you guys on the next episode of FTL. Bye.